Today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious broccoli, rice, and cheese casserole. Hi everyone, I'm Catherine with Catherine's Plates. I've got some delicious ingredients right here that I'm going to use to pull together fresh broccoli, fluffy rice, and your favorite cheese. Bundle it all together in a two-quart casserole and you've got the perfect side dish. We're going to start off with cooking the rice. It's really simple. I'm using a basmati rice. It is a long grain white rice. Let's get started with that. For this recipe, I'm going to be making two cups of rice. I am using a medium saucepan. I'm putting it over high heat. I'm going to place in one and a half cups of water. We're going to bring that to a boil. As the water comes to a boil, I'm going to add three quarters cup of white long grain rice. I'm going to give it a stir. We're going to lower the heat down to a low. I'm going to place a lid on. We're going to cook this for 20 minutes. The rice is fully cooked now. I'm just going to take the lid off, turn the burner off, and then I'm just going to let it sit. Just keep fluffing it up a little bit until we get to that point where we need to add it to the casserole. Now I've got just a small skillet here and I'm going to saute up some onions and then all of the flavors are going to go into this right here. It's that way we can mix it all together in one pan so we're not digging out another bowl. All right, so in a medium skillet, I'm just going to add two tablespoons of butter. I'm going to bring this to a sizzle and then add the onions. In my medium skillet, I'm going to put it over a medium high heat. I'm going to add two tablespoons of butter. I'm going to let this melt and come to a sizzle. Now, if you don't want to use butter, you can certainly use like a little bit of olive oil or cooking oil. I'm going to go ahead and place my onions in. I always say, when you hear that sizzle, you know something's good happening in the kitchen. I'm going to cook these down for about three to four minutes until they're nice and soft. Now that our onions are nice and softened, I'm going to add about one to two teaspoons of minced garlic, just whatever you feel for your flavor. I'm going to cook this down for one minute. Now we're going to talk about cream of soups. I've got two cans here. You can do cream of mushroom, cream of celery, and if you don't want to really make this a vegetarian, you can use cream of chicken. I'm going to go ahead and add that. Okay, I've put half a can of water and I'm just going to stir this up. I'm going to add it to the other can. That way we can get all the flavors out. Well, we have some seasonings, and right in here I have half a teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and half a teaspoon of dry mustard. I'm going to add those. Now notice we haven't added any salt to this dish yet. Because we've got the cream of soups, and then there's going to be cheese in this dish. So I want to taste it before we add any salt. I'm going to combine this all together. I'm going to go ahead and turn the burner off. I'm going to give a little taste. That is really good. We're going to go ahead and add our two cups of cooked rice. I have two bags of frozen broccoli and it's chopped. These are 10 ounces each, so about 20 ounces, and I thawed these out. So I'm going to go ahead and add these. Okay, I'm going to start stirring this all together as I'm adding the broccoli. Just be very careful. I'm 
And then what we're going to do, eight ounces of shredded cheddar cheese. We're going to stir this continually and get it all mixed up into the broccoli and the rice and the soup mixture. And then we want that cheese to be melted. So just be very careful as you move things around. Now you don't want to over mix or don't smash the rice too much. That's looking really good. I'm going to spray a 9 by 13 casserole dish with some nonstick cooking spray. And I'm going to place all of this mixture into it. I had a little taste. <laughs> it's very delicious. I'm going to smooth this out. We're not going to smash it, but we just do want to get it even so that it cooks evenly across the casserole here. I'm going to put about four ounces of cheddar cheese across the top because I don't want to cover up the broccoli. I've got my oven preheating at 350 degrees. I'm going to place the casserole in there for about 35 to 45 minutes. We want to heat through the casserole, have it nice and bubbly, and that cheese nice and melted and golden on the top. I'll be back. I know y'all are excited to see how this one ends. I've just pulled this out of the oven and as you can see it's kind of bubbling around the edges and the cheese is nice and melted and a little golden on the top. I'm going to cool this down just a little bit and then I'm going to scoop it out for you and give it a try. Alright, I'm ready to scoop some out. There's my broccoli, rice, and cheese casserole. Doesn't that look delicious? I love how cheesy this is. Mm. It's very delicious. I like how that broccoli still keeps its shape. Oh my goodness. Those soups in here are so delicious. Let me know what you think of my broccoli, rice, and cheese casserole. The perfect side dish. Alright, give me a thumbs up, comment down below. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way, you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. I'll see y'all on the next episode. Mm. Mm.